Dear Jane, my husband of six years wants to open up our marriage so he can experiment with men. That's a down low Dan right there. <laughs> or like a flaming Fred. Or a hidden Harry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Walkie <laughs> Carl. <laughs> oh, dear Jane, my husband and I have been together for 10 years, married for six of those. We've always had a pretty good sex life, healthy and consistent. Perhaps they're not the most passionate. Somebody's been uh, around the block, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a, I believe he has a hankering for the chocolate starfish. Yeah, I bet he wants to finish in the back door. Yeah. Anybody who barges in the emergency exit, you, you got to be careful with that. Yep. Perhaps not the most passionate, but I've never been one of those people who thinks that the lust you have at the start of a romance really lasts all the way through, so it's never bothered me. But recently, my husband has started opening up more about his fantasies, which usually involve us in bed with a third person. Oh, my God. I figured it was just him trying to spice things up a bit, so I went along with it. However, he's now started talking about wanting to make his fantasy a reality, specifically by inviting another man to join us in the relationship. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. No, that's, that's how you wind up a petri dish of disease. He said that he's always been fascinated by the idea of being with another man, that it turns him on. And that he doesn't think he can go the rest of his life without embracing that side of himself. He even said he's done some research into how we can find someone <clears throat> who might be interested in a three-way relationship. No, it's over. I'm sorry, lady. Yeah. It's a done deal. Mm -hmm. He's gay. Very gay. I'm happy that he feels as though he can be open with me. Are you? But Are I'm you? also terrified about what this means for a marriage. It's over. Yeah. Does this mean he doesn't want me anymore? It means that he that you're the beard. Yes. Yeah. And uh, if you go through with this, he's going to shave you off post haste. <laughs> Am I that good enough? Or is this him trying to tell me that he'd rather be with a man but doesn't know how to say it? I don't want to seem like I'm shutting down his desires, but I feel so weirded out by the idea of finding a random man to sleep with us and even more horrified by the idea of sharing my husband with this guy long term. How do I support him without destroying everything <clears throat> from right. Three's a Crowd? I Hang on. Right. <laughs> Miss Three's a Crowd. <sighs> He's gay. His marriage is over. <laughs> Chili Dog Charlie. I like that one. Laconda's Woody. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's a Dundale. Um, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, this... First of all, <clears throat> I I really uh, this is kind of reprehensible, and I would put this on the dude for not being honest and upfront. Yeah, because this isn't something that just like all of a sudden, oh yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. This is something that he that's you know it's been percolating. It, it's been part of him since I would say since the beginning. Yeah. All right. It is what it is. You know. <sighs> I think I got the perfect sound effect. Yeah. Ha! Gay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor lady. Well, you know. I mean, the funny thing is, is that this came out. When was this released? This is, this article is only two days old. Uh-huh. And the funny thing is, you know, we released that Download Dan video at the end of, uh, you know, Groomer Month. Yeah, yeah. And both of us were like, we're not really sure how much of a problem this really is anymore since pe people are basically more comfortable outing themselves as gay than they are as white and straight. Yep, yep. And then this comes up. I'm like, ah, we have been vindicated. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, you know, all I could say is this is, you know, a tragedy. And think of all the dudes whose wives decided to go, you know, become lumpy liver lickers. Yep. And, you know, ditches him for or, you know, for an extra set of tits and scissor kicking <laughs> three times a week. Yeah. I mean, that's devastating for a dude. It is. It is. I mean, and you're like, oh, my God. I'm... What's even worse is that when it's over, he's going to ask her for what MGTOW Mando chatted to us on MGTOW.TV. It's called the Rusty Broadsword. <laughs> Post-rectal coitus phalangeal manipulation of the phallic object, otherwise known as a shit-caked awkward handy. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. And that has been today's... <laughs> <laughs> A lump of vomit moment. <laughs> Very much so. Oh a lump of vomit moment. God! Well, as long as she doesn't try to lick the sword clean. Oh, stop! God!
God, that's just disgusting. Ah! Well, we had, what, a couple shows back when they were talking about that one girl who's like, I got to stop eating ass on the first date. Oh, oh God, yeah. I was like, well, I mean, that's that's not even like a fifth date kind of a thing. That's like, a, you know, you're you're married and you're drunk and horny on New Year's Eve and you've done everything else kind wow. of a request. I, I, I have no desire to partake in any of that either. First date. But giving or receiving. That is just nasty. You know what they make you do in county? Toss the salad. Yeah, think you know, Chris Rock <laughs> ruined my dining experiences for about three to four years after that came out. Yep. Because I walked out of six or seven different restaurants when I read on the menu menu toss salad. Like, no, nope, uh, I'm out of here. Yeah. We're out of here. I swear <laughs> to God, I just couldn't do it. And that chick who no longer does that on the first date, you know, she's had the entire salad bar. No. Oh. All the ranch dressing. That is just nasty. And probably some chunky Italian. <laughs> Stop. Give me a lump of vomit here. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.